Hey everyone, behind me is an Urban Arrow cargo bike. It's the family model, it's the performance edition. It has the Bosch motor in it, but it's still a class one and it's still a little on this, we'll call it soft side, <laughs> if you like performance bicycle riding. And I'm gonna show you some really fantastic features that you can add to this bike to make it the number one performing cargo bike that you have in your lineup. So first of all, let's talk about this. This is an Envolio uh, internally driven hub. This is, it's not a motor, this is the shifting hub mechanism that's on the back of your Urban Arrow on the rear wheel. These things have a, uh, we'll call it a tendency to fail. This is one of the newer models, this is the heavy duty version. I still don't trust these. The reason I don't trust these are if, you're, if you read the Urban Arrow forms, uh, countless numbers of failures of these devices and they're failing not due to user negligence or to environmental factors, they're failing because of their design. Uh, they're a planetary gear system that uses a viscous fluid inside to control the shifting and control the, the uh, engagement of the hub. And to me, that is just, it's a poor design with such a heavy bike uh, under such extreme loads that the Bosch cargo motor can produce. And so if you want something that's a little more robust, we'll call it a lot more robust and a lot more feature rich, I would highly recommend updating to something like a Rollhoff Speed Hub. Uh, we added this to the bike and it is a night and day difference. You're talking 14 speeds, more range, better gear engagement, smoother shifting, reliability, faster, easier to climb. I mean, the list is almost countless of the differences between the Rollhoff Hub and the Envolio. Now, they do come at a price premium and so you're looking at probably a minimum investment of $1,500 US or more depending on installation and whether or not you do the wheel build. The nice thing is, is that if you order a 230 millimeter spoke and a 36 hole uh, Rollhoff hub, you can actually do a one-to-one -one swap with your current wheel. You don't need to buy a new rim. The disc rotor will need to be replaced with a compatible 203 millimeter disc rotor, as well as an OEM2 mount. And I'll show you that here in a second, which fits onto the frame and allows you to adapt the Rollhoff hub directly to the Urban Arrow. The next upgrade I'd like to talk about is the display, the computer. Uh, we upgraded this bike with a Bosch smartphone hub. Reason being is that I like to ride my son around and listen to music. I like to, I always carry my phone with me anyway. And so the ability to mount my phone onto the handlebars of the bike and control the bike, control my music, control my phone calls, control my maps and my navigation right from my phone without having to keep it in my pocket is really, really great. Uh, the smartphone hub, replaces the Bosch computer that comes on your Urban Arrow already. It requires you to run a new cable down to the motor assembly uh, and connect it. It's not a hard install, it just requires a little bit of, of patience, but it's a night and day difference in terms of how you integrate, or excuse me, how you interact with the bike when you ride it. It also allows you to ride the bike without using a smartphone. You can simply keep the phone in your pocket, turn the bike on, you can still see speed, time, uh, or excuse me, range, and uh, distance traveled. So it's a really great feature to have to be able to improve uh, sort of you, how you use the bike and how you carry your technology with you on it. All right, and here's a look at the roll-off shifter. You can see that it looks really clean on the bike, nicely installed using the stock cable housing that was included with the Envolio hub. I added some new Aragon shifters to the bars. We'll talk about the bars in a second. Uh, the cable routing is the same internally that you would use with the Involio hub coming down here. You can see the Rollhoff inside that wheel. Uh, it does have a Rollhoff specific 203 millimeter disc rotor, as well as a 234 spoke, uh, the same gauge that comes stock on that wheel. Again, that's that factory OEM wheel as well, or rim. Rather, we're gonna swing around here and I'll show you that uh, how the shifter, the internal shifter is mounted Again, the important piece of this puzzle is that um, OEM bracket that comes with the roll-off hub when you purchase it. You have to buy the OEM, I think it's either OEM or OEM2 bracket. It has this little nub here that sits inside the dropout and allows you to mount that hub directly into the OEM frame without any other adapters or pieces. There's the shifter mount with the stock OEM cables that run through the frame and back up inside the motor assembly and then it up and up to the shifters uh, up, at the, up at the bars. And so you can see that this is really clean and this is a very simple, easy install once the hub is built into the wheel. Taking a look at the smartphone hub, here's what it looks like mounted on the bars. Super clean install. This is obviously without the phone being mounted to it. It does come with plugs for iPhone and Android, which is great. Uh, you can see it has your relative speed listed there, the light control, the power control. You can go up, you can go down. It'll show you the, dis uh, the different modes that you're in on the bike. 
It will also show you percent battery remaining as well as approximate range with that battery. So really clean install, it looks really good on the bike, it adds a ton of functionality as well. So another mod we've got here is the addition of a Surly Sunrise handlebar. This changes the bike handling immensely because what it does is it takes that sort of relaxed swept back bar and turns it into a wider, more performance oriented bar, giving the rider more control at speed and better handling. Uh, for a person who likes to ride faster and a little more aggressively, this is a really incredible upgrade and something that doesn't cost a lot of money and changes the bike handling and the feel of the bike immensely. So the last and final upgrade we did to this bike, which you can't see, but I'll add a link to the description, is the addition of a Speedbox speed controller. And if you're not familiar with Speedbox, what it is, it's a little dongle that plugs in in between the control on the bars and the motor unit itself. And what it does is it allows you to set a limitless pedal assist. So by default, this is a class one bike, so pedal assist up to 20 miles an hour. But with the speed box, you have a limitless pedal assist. So what that means is as fast as you can spin those pedals and as fast as that drivetrain can turn, this bike will continue to output torque and a pedal assist through the entire gear range. And so we can comfortably cruise with this bike on USA roads. I've hit 32, 33 miles an hour and it is fantastic. You'd combine all these performance mods together, right? So the wider bars, the shorter stem, the speed box controller, the roll off hub, the smartphone hub, and you've got the ultimate dad bike, a bike that performs unbelievably well, takes this bike to the next level and allows you to have what I consider to be the best dad bike on the block, if you ask me. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video about Urban Air performance improvements. Check out everything else I have on YouTube. Rate, comment, and subscribe.